My mom lives currently on her own and she's very independent. You know, I'm busy working, so it's really important to me that I know that my mom has what she needs and that she's safe. I grew up in the women's movement. I'm highly social, very interested in everything around me. My children have been wonderful. They don't treat me as though there's something wrong with me because I'm old. My name is Therese Fitzsimmons, and I'm a case manager with the home care program through LifePath. I first met Kate in the spring of 2014 as her case manager, and then in the fall, she developed pneumonia. She was in a hospital in intensive care, and the whole time I was very worried and concerned about what was going to happen when she came home. When she did come home, it was apparent that she was going to need more daily help in her life. It's a hard thing to say, you know what, maybe it's a rest home, or maybe it's a different kind of living for you, maybe it's an assisted living, because I'm not going to be able to do all this. I felt often really alone. Kate is a feminist, and she raised her kids to be independent. Both of them work really hard to maintain as much of Kate's independence. My mom has always expressed that it's her wish to live in her little apartment. I had a lot of support from Therese in particular, but helping me figure out ways so that we could keep her here. Clearly I feel like I have a really, have a partnership with LifePath. They've done the things that I couldn't have maintained on my own. For example, the dispensing of medication, the managing of that, a nurse to manage it, helping me find all those services, where to go, all the different agencies and connecting those parts together so that my mom can live with dignity and independence. I can remember marching um, for women's rights on the State House in Boston with um, two of my best friends. One of them took the photograph of me and just brought it back to me as a gift. Kind of reminded me, like, what? Like, we're not done. <laughs> we, need, we have more living to do, right? right? I think it is entirely possible that my relationship with my mom may have been very different if I didn't have an involvement with Life Path. I don't have to rely on Stephanie when she's at work or just because she's tired. I can pick up the phone and call LifePath, and somebody is always on the other end of that line.